since we talked about this on the call, this is a stock specific question and you know I think shows a pretty good interplay between your quantitative view and the fundamental view, but Tesla up another 17% yesterday. <clears throat> Should we just buy into the FOMO and get on this rocket ship. <clears throat> and I thought, you know, if you don't listen to the call, you should listen to it. Jay, I thought it's very The calls are a new product. New product, know. which is all of our analysts every morning around the table. Um, you, know, you know, he basically made a really good point. Number one, or made a couple good points. Number one, um, the company is really barely growing. You know, if you look at sort of new car, car deliveries over yeah, the past, co past couple years, and then, you know, it's market share and the car market overall is basically de minimis. So, you know, that's kind of the fundamental backdrop along with not really making any money, all that. Um, the quantitative backdrop though, as we've been signaling for a long time, is it's, it remains bullish. Um, but fundamentally, what do you have to believe to buy it here if you're gonna buy it? You basically have to believe that Tesla's gonna take over the world, so. <laughs> or it's one of the biggest bubble stocks we've ever seen in history. Yeah, I'd go with the latter. I mean, we had yeah. the question yesterday, is it an auto company? Is it uh, the second coming of Jesus Christ, Elon, whatever? Uh, I just said it's a bubble. I mean. Yeah. A bubble is not a bubble that doesn't do things like that, okay? So what Jay also said this morning on the call, which was kind of funny, he said 1,400, it should trade at 50,000 a share. There's no difference on yeah. fundamentals. And that's quintessentially a bubble. When you're, trying to def when you're trying to create a narrative behind something, like the latest narrative on Tesla, of course, is that Biden wins and everybody's gonna turn into George Jetson and drive his cars, yeah. uh, you know, centrally planned mandate, and you're gonna sell all your other cars uh, or not buy any other brand, which is also, and to Jay's point, you know, obviously down the, down the path on EV development. Nice, nice cars too, like Porsches. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter. Like the trend nailed it. The trend signal nailed it. Why do you think I built that signal? Because I used to be like a lot of you, like and some of your friends that are fundamentalist pigs that short things on valuation. Because that's we went to school and that's what you do, uh, and that doesn't work. Not in a market like this, it doesn't work. And we saved ourselves a lot of money by doing that. I mean, I get I get people come after me for a lot of different reasons uh, today, in particular. But I don't I don't I don't care. I can justify everything that I do. I mean, I get people come after me for losing five or ten percent in Hilton stock. Can you imagine if I stayed bearish because my analyst was bearish on Tesla? No, I have a process for that. 